This is Group ID Seven presenting our uh, PPT on stock market analyst rating technique using Naive Bias approach. So below are the participants of our group and our guide, Professor Dipali Gore. Our project basically aims to create an unbiased rating system for stock market analysts, and there is a great need for this, such a system because it doesn't exist yet, and the current systems that exist are supposed to be biased and our project will help curtail a lot of problems for both individuals companies as well as organizations like sebi so here we can see the objectives and scope of the project the system will help organizations as well as individuals by which we mean that organizations like stock market firms can uh, see how their analysts are performing as well as individuals being laymen like us who have to trust someone with their money or Layman uh, or individuals like analysts themselves who can judge their own performance by our ratings. The system will also help organizations like SEBI to control malpractices in the fields like uh, bribing and falsifying recommendations. The problem statement is to develop a stock market analyst rating system based on an accuracy of recommendations using the Naive Bias algorithm. So we considered. Uh, two or three approaches like the decision tree algorithm, various forms of the Naive Bias algorithm, and we finalized on this approach, as you'll finally see in the results. This, this is our literature survey. Since our idea was original, we did not have a strong base paper to base our entire uh, project on, but we have ourselves uh, published a paper, which I'll show you in the end of the presentation. This is the basic overview of our system. So firstly, we gather stock recommendations from websites like marketsmojo.com. Then we also have a database of the NSC stock prices. Both of them we obtain through web scraping by using the Selenium library and a beautiful soup library. And it goes through an extensive data cleaning module by which we normalize and uh, store the data in an Azure SQL database. Then our rating algorithm obtains that data from the database and uh, puts it through an extensive algorithm that we designed to rate the analysts on a scale of one star to five stars, one being the lowest, five being the best rating that an analyst can get. So this is our algorithmic approach. Basically, the Naive theorem considers posterior probabilities and an extension to the biases theorem is the Naive Bias classifier, wherein we can predict the possibility of an analyst being a one-star analyst to a five-star analyst on the basis of certain factors. So we considered three factors here, the number of hits, which is how many recommendations did the analyst fulfill, the number of hold and the number of early hits. So these are the system specifications that we used. Our uh, project was sponsored by a company called as Metal Brains Technology, and hence we deployed it on a Azure database and Azure environment. Our data sets were obtained from marketsmojo.com, NSE India, and stored in SQL tables, the format of which is given there. The results are as follows. So we initially based our model uh, on manual entry of uh, the recommendations by using the Naive Bias theorem. Then for the next year, we use the previous year data to train the model. And in a similar fashion, uh, for 2018, we used the 2016 and 17 data. And hence by bootstrapping, we increase, increase the accuracy from a 81.96 to 91.89. The first year, the accuracy has been given by as 100% because we had to manually get the ratings since we had no training data for available of such a kind. So in conclusion, using the Naive algorithm uh, proved extremely helpful because uh, as we considered other approaches, they did not give us the performance that Naive pro uh, proved to give. We also published a paper on our project uh, titled as the stock market analyst rating technique using Naive Bias classifier in the 
International Conference of Emergence in Technology with 2020. This was given as an online presentation due to the current situation and we got published just a month or two ago. These are the references. Now we'll move on to the demonstration of our project. Welcome to a brief demo of our project. So I'll be running you through the code and the implementation of our project in this one. Uh, we have three major modules in our code. One is the scraping module, which we use to scrape the data of the websites into the database. The an another module is the algorithm code, which takes the normalized data from the database and uh, gives out the performance figures for the analysts. And the third module that we have is the plots module, which plots out the data that we have collected and uses the Navewise algorithm to give a rating for those analysts. So starting with the scraping uh, code, as you can see here, we use a Chrome driver, uh, Chrome Selenium driver and the beautiful soup library to obtain all the rate, uh, recommendations that these analysts have given on various websites. So right now this code is for scraping a website called as Markets Mojo, and we're planning to generalize it so that we, we can have uh, scalability of this project. After this, it goes through an extensive data cleaning module and enters the uh, database from where the algorithm code picks it up. The algorithm code will then map the uh, web, uh, I mean, the stock names as well as use a custom code that we have written to finally get this table. So this table will give you the hit ratio, average growth and total recommendations, which are the three factors that we are considering for uh, rating the performance of the analyst. So the hit ratio will give you the number of recommendations that turned out to be true. The average growth will give you, and if you were invested a certain amount of money with these recommendations, how much would you obtain back and the total recommendations is pretty self-explanatory then these figures are again fed into the database in another table from which the plots module picks it up the plots module will initially plot out these values in buckets of one to five so that we have a level playing field for all the analysts to have so assume there's someone here in the third bucket of this k-means graph it means that as far as the hit ratio is concerned that person is a three-star analyst and after we calculate such bucket buckets for all the three uh, factors that we have considered we put it into the naive bias algorithm so here as you can see this is the probability matrix that we're using and this gives us the highest uh, probability of that analyst being of certain rating. So this will spit out values like the analyst has a probability of being a uh, highest probability of being a three star analyst. And that is how we give these ratings, except for the first year where we have to actually calculate it using the naive bias theorem. After that, the uh, Accuracy of the model also increases since we have the previous data to train it on. So as you can see here, we have the 2016 and 17 data here that we are training our model on further to the 2018 data. We have also created a very bare bones front end for our project, which I'll just show you. Um, uh, the sponsors for this project were Metal Brain Technologies, you can see here. And this is the front end that we have created for our project. Let me just navigate to the home page. Yeah. So this is the home page which has uh, some filters here. So if you want to see the 2018 data in the descending format, you can see that choice equity broking had the highest rating in 2018. Then you can also see their individual performance per year. And you can also see the individual recommendations that uh, Choice Equity Broking gave to its followers in uh, the certain year. We also have a form here for adding recommendations directly into the database. So this will be used once our, once our website has customers uh, like the stock market firms. 
that was about it for the implementation of our project thank you